Hey, welcome to Steel Lodge. Today I'll be covering how to add a HUD like this to games that run in desktop mode for the Steam Deck. So right now I'm playing Oli Oli World and it's running in desktop mode. Now I normally know for the Steam Deck that if you just play in game mode, you can just go press the three dot button for quick access and turn on various layers of stats there for your games. But in desktop mode that doesn't work and we actually can't see any stats unless we install another program. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the game here and we can go over to the desktop side of things. All right, I went ahead and closed down my game. So just go to the Discover Store and search for Mango. Here we'll have Mango HUD. I actually installed it, but for some reason it's not popping up here. If I go to my installed though, and I scroll down a bit, you can see Mango HUD's right there. So if you visit this app's website, install it first through here, and then visit the website, and it'll show you how you can use it and customize it a bit. So you can see the example has more stats than I had showing up, but you can build this in and compile it if you want to do it your own way. There's other ways to install it, but just doing it through the Discover Store is really straightforward and easy. Now, the thing that you might be curious about is how to enable it for certain Steam games or other games. I actually did a Diablo Immortal video, and I used this to show the stats in desktop mode. If we scroll down just a little bit further, here's how we can do it. For Litris games, which is how I set up Diablo Immortal with Battle.net, you can add it using the command prefix. And for Steam games, it's pretty straightforward. Just use the Mango HUD space command and add that in to the launch options for the games. So if I open up my library here again and go to Oli Oli World, go to properties, you can see that I had the Mango HUD command right here in order to get that to pop up. So this is useful for games that run in desktop mode only, or maybe you don't have them in game mode yet, and you want to check performance before you add them over there. This is a pretty straightforward way to do it. And as it says here, you can configure Mango HUD to add more stats to it if you want to see them. Pretty straightforward video, and that's about it for you guys today. If you want to see more videos just like this one, consider subscribing to the channel. I'll have a Baldur's Gate 3 video on the Steam Deck very shortly. Since we just got a big patch 8 for the game, I want to check it out. Have a good one.